One sure announcement. So guys, I got some happy news. I finished the fifth part of my psychological saga, which is called On Fire. It's available on my profile on DeviantArt. You can read it there for free. And I can say that writing it, I had so much fun because my characters went to some gorgeous, absolutely magnificent place, truly amazing, and writing it I felt as if I were along with them in that place, and uh, it's about many different things, such as uh, how living in such a big rush in impacts our lives, and uh, also to be like thankful, and to enjoy the mm, tiny like parts of your life, the tiny things, and uh, also it's like the continuation of overcoming the fear and the anxiety and well you shall definitely check that out link in the description Hello guys, it's Olivia here and today I would like to share with you my ways of co overcoming the anxiety and also fear. But before we start, I have to mention that uh, this vlog is not gonna replace like a psychotherapy or a special advice. And also these ways uh, I meant gonna mention uh, don't really have to work on everybody because everybody's different uh, so in different cases they may be more or less effective so there are like many different ways to encourage yourself which I use for example whenever I perform or even uh, rec I record vlogs because I remember myself being like very <laughs> like stressed on the beginning uh, when I had started recording and also the situation which uh, still like makes me feel kind of big fear is when I have to jump. I love jumps but uh, still before jumping I feel kind of stressed so I use these ways. You can for example promise yourself a re reward for doing something. Let's say that you're afraid of dentists and you have to visit one so after the visit as soon as you are allowed to for example eat you can eat something sweet or you can go to the cinema just do reward yourself. Also, the other way is that when you have to, for example, perform on stage, you can either try to imagine that the room's completely empty, or this is the way which I've heard from Amy C. Morelli. She did mention it in uh, like one video, and uh, it's to like imagine that you're only practicing and all these people are your friends who are going to listen you practicing also for example when it comes to like bungee or rope jumping i do pick points where the people working there have like the psychological approach so they like stay calm and thanks to that also i don't feel that stressed also, you can like uh, use the method uh, of like the um, smaller steps uh, to like uh, lower the expectations. You can, for example, imagine in your head like what could be the worst scenario in some situation. So, I remember myself being like very scared before my driving exam and. To be honest, well, what could uh, happen in the worst scenario? I could, I could just fail, but uh, failing an exam doesn't mean that, for example, the sun's gonna explode, that uh, we're all like gonna stop existing, uh, nothing's like that gonna happen so well. When the final exam came, I was like, okay, if there is gonna be necessary, then I'm just gonna try it again. 
Also, it's good to like read to the motivational quotes uh, or to even have them somewhere in your room. And uh, also, pretty often uh, when I go uh, bungee or rope jumping, the thing which I find really helpful is listening to the motivational songs because music does really work on me. So, well, I just keep doing it. Also, you probably do remember from my previous videos that when you name your emotions, the amygdala gets like less active. So it's good to, for example, name the fear, the anxiety you feel at the moment. Also, the second person shall know that you're afraid, no matter if it's, for example, a dentist or some doctor or, for example, um, even a bungee jumping instructor. Just uh, don't hide your fear, don't hide your anxiety, just be honest and tell the second person you're afraid because it could also, like, activate the psychological approach, which is really good. Also, think about the joy and the satisfaction you're gonna feel after the visit or the jump or the exam. And also, one of my favorite ways, it, it's really hard to translate, but it's something like the mental training. Um, and it's when you just imagine that uh, upcoming situation, for example, you're gonna do your bungee jump, so you start imagining it uh, instead of like escaping from these thoughts or for example going to the dentist when you're scared of dentists, so it's good to like practice, let's say, that visit, that situation in your mind. However, if you've come for some traumatic experience because uh, you were w like walking through the forest and someone attacked you with a knife and now you're afraid of like walking through that forest then uh, it's good to at least on the beginning try the mental training with some professionals so these are some of the ways i use in my daily life to like overcome the fear and the anxiety if you've got uh, your own propositions uh, feel free to like write them down in the comment section also if you've liked this video you can leave a big thumbs up and well thanks for watching bye so